install Sync Toy, we first need to visit the Microsoft Download Center website for their program. Now, to do that, you just need to visit my blog, or you can see the link in the description. There you will find two versions of the program. One's a 32-bit, and one's a 64-bit version. They're both small. Uh, the 64-bit is the largest, weighing in at 3 meg. Um, I'll take the 32-bit version, because that'll match my version of Windows that I'm using. Uh, the supported operating systems include Windows 7, Vista, and XP. I'm using XP in this situation. Uh, there's some other requirements there you can check out. There's also some instructions for removing or installing the program uh, in case you should not be happy with it. Once it's downloaded, we'll begin the install. Uh, this is pretty much just basic fanfare. Uh, you step through the wizard, it will install extra components should your PC need them to run it. Uh, we'll accept the license agreements. We'll pick the installation folder. We'll just leave that a default and continue through the install. Once that's complete, we can begin setting up the profile for our backup job. To run SyncToy, go to Start, Programs, and locate SyncToy in the list of your installed programs. Okay, click the link to create a new folder. You can browse for your, man your folder manually, or you can go ahead and just copy and paste the path in like I did. Your left folder is your source, your right folder is your destination folder. Click Next, you have three options, Synchronize, Echo, or Contribute Data to the folder. Uh, there's a little box there to tell you exactly what each one will do. Um, synchronize will make sure that both folders stay in sync. means that if you delete one file from one folder, it will be reflected in the other, regardless of which way it goes. Uh, the Echo will copy from your source to the destination only. Uh, contribute is, is similar to Synchronize. Now for backup purposes, I'm going to go with Echo because all I need is to back up a folder from my local desktop to my external hard drive. Next, we just need to name that job. Basically, it's, you can think of it as a profile name uh, for that backup action. I'm going to call it SyncToy Test File. I've created a, a folder on my desktop and on my external hard drive for this purpose. Uh, here you can see the left folder is your source on my desktop. The right folder is on my external hard drive, meaning anything in the left folder will be sent to the right folder, but not vice versa. So if I rename anything or save anything in the left folder, it will be sent to the, the external hard drive. You can see the backup methods echo. There's the permissions and options for that backup job. If you click run, it will proceed to run that job. We'll see here that one, one file was, was copied and that it was successful. It tells you your left and your right folder, your source and your destinations. Uh, to double check, here's my destination folder on the external hard drive. Here's the folder on my source on the desktop. It just says test and sync toy. Now, to make sure that it's going to reflect any changes, let's rename it. We're just going to call it test file 2. We're going to hop back over to the destination drive. Just okay, we're going to rerun this job. After we check to make sure that it's okay. See it has not been changed yet. Still just old test file. We're going to click run. We can see that it did one action. There's our source, test file 2. There's our test file 2 on the external hard drive. Now, to test, just to make sure that this isn't going to go back the other way, let's rename it on the external hard drive to test 100. We're going to rerun that job. Okay, no files copied. There's nothing there to copy. So, we see that our one-way backup works. Now, we need to find a way to automate this. So the next step, is to set up a scheduled task using the built-in Windows features to be able to control when this job is run. Uh, to do that, we launch the Scheduled Tasks Manager. So there we go. Click Next. We can just scroll down the list of applications and find SyncToy. So that's the program we want to set the task up for. Uh, we're going to name it. Let's see, I think we'll just call this for our test. Uh, sync toy backup. 
I wanted to run weekly. You can select your occurrence there. Um, but time would be good to run. Let's set it for 12.05. That'll be right after I go to lunch. One time a week on Monday. Click Next. You punch in the username and password for the account on the PC that you'd like to go ahead and have backed up. This will give you the confirmation screen. If you click Finish, that'll add this job to the list of scheduled tasks. Every Monday at 12.05, my file, a sync toy test, will be backed up to my external hard drive. 